Oh my god! Oh, didn't see you there. Just kidding. Obviously, I saw you there because I'm the only person here and I set up the camera. So, without further ado, I've got my coffee in hand. Today, we're making breakfast burritos. Breakfast burritos, critical, absolutely monumental to life itself. Obviously, no, it's not, but everybody loves a good breakfast burrito. If you don't like Mexican food, you're a creep. We are gonna get into making a breakfast burrito. Goals of today, we want it to be high protein, really high protein, high fiber, super easy, everything has beans in it, whatever. Uh, and then the other thing that we want it, relatively low calorie. So we're gonna make breakfast burritos. Breakfast burritos, why are they good? Breakfast burritos you can take on the go. You can also eat them at home. You can eat them for breakfast and lunch, and let's face it, dinner. They're a great food that also can be wrapped up and save for later, you can meal prep this. So what I would actually recommend, and I'll show an image how we can store it, and then you can always make them later in terms of the wraps. Or the beautiful thing is you're gonna make a filling for the burrito. You can also just make rice on the side and there you go, you have lunch or dinner one day. The best gosh darn breakfast burritos. <laughs> Let's go. All right, welcome to my workstation. So it's a little bit messy, but that's okay. It's practical. We got everything all in front of us. We've got our shredded cheese, okay? We've got our wraps under here. We've got some spinach on top of the wraps. We've got our two eggs and two egg whites. We've got some milk to add into there to create a more voluminous solution. Actually adds some more protein as well and just makes it go a longer way so we can have more serving sizes. Uh, we've got our one singular chopped onion right here. Yeah, we've got our garlic. Uh, this is optional. Didn't put this in the recipe, but you can have it if you'd like. This is our taco seasoning. Taco. Nacho! Nacho Libre. All right. And then we've got our uh, chilies, or sorry, our tomato with chilies that we're gonna drain. Uh, this is our black beans here. We've got our turkey breast that is ground and we are going to make that in the pan as well afterwards. So let's get this thing started. First, we need to take our milk, add it in. Okay, Boop. Hopefully this bowl is big enough. It is. Grab our fork. No. It's game season, baby. Chopsticks, let's go. Gotta really get that grip strength going. All right, that's good. To that, we're just gonna add a pinch of salt, like so. Pinch, let's take this over here and we're gonna throw this in the hot pan. Make sure your pan is preheating on medium high heat and all we're gonna use is cooking spray if you'd like. If you'd like to use anything but cooking spray, by all means, spray uh, or oil, olive oil is good. We've got our filling done. It is high protein, it is ready to go. What we now need to do is get our wraps and our cheese sorted, which I already have. 75 grams of cheese, by the way, goes a long way. It's an arbitrary amount in the recipe, but for the sake of, if you're really strict on your macros, stick to 75 grams. Uh, if you're not, then whatever, have as much cheese as you like, but for the sake of the low calorie option, that's what I did. And also, uh, the low calorie recipe is not based on these wraps. It is based on the traditional whole wheat wrap. So uh, these are some protein wraps that I found that I want to try out. Let you know how I feel about them. 10 grams of protein, extremely high protein as this will be. Uh, so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm actually going to put these in the microwave, heat them up for like 10 seconds. Literally just give them a little bit of heat so that they wrap a little bit easier and we don't have any crackage. Uh, do this regardless of whether or not you're going to meal prep them, by the way, uh, just because again, we don't want them to crack when we're wrapping them. All right, so once that is out and warm, all right, we are going to pull them out of the microwave, obviously, that is done, okay, and what we're gonna do, it is not that warm, but whatever, I'm just being a little baby. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a small amount of the filling, pop it into the dead center, like so, and wrap, sprinkle it with some cheese and wrap it up. And Bob's your uncle, it's not so hard. Guys, you already know I am the king, the absolute king of grab and go. And so for that reason, I am making a wrap and it's still ripped. All right, let's try that again, all right? <laughs> I overfilled it. One, 
I also forgot to put cheese on it and that's just sinful. I think we can agree. All right, so put a little bit in the center and maybe these protein tortillas just don't wrap as well. Okay, so I'm gonna throw some cheese on top. By the way guys, 75 grams is so much cheese. Holy jeepers. Like, I'm gonna struggle to eat that. Be a little bit looser here. It's a wrap. <laughs> All right, so crickets, crickets, crickets. If you wanna serve it warm, great. If you want, wrap them up like this and throw them in a container and in the fridge. Next day, just heat them up quick or eat them just the way they are. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a taste test. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's some good stuff. I'm gonna put the number of calories right here because I can't remember right now because I'm too busy stuffing my face. But these are fire. I'm not gonna lie, if you're not big on like whole wheat wraps even, these protein ones might be a, a little bit suspect for you. Um, totally recommend, like it's totally fine to just grab white ones or corn, whatever. But grab whichever ones you enjoy. These are fire. I know it sounds bad, but this is so filling. Optional cilantro. And also, totally forgot to use the garlic. I had it, I said I was gonna use it, I didn't. I didn't use garlic. So good, it's all over my hands. Oh. All right guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. A1 burrito, and I'm stuck. I'm literally, I've got meat sweats right now. That, that aside, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is a really, really tasty burrito. Again, it's gonna be super filling, very satiating, high protein. You can either eat it on the go, or you can package it separately and make it like into a rice dish, whatever you want to make it versatile so that you don't feel like you're eating all the same things if you choose to meal prep it. If not, and you got a big family, this will definitely feed your family, at least of four or five people. But guys, I really cannot stress this enough. These are amazing, these are quick, and guys, don't spend your money eating out if you don't have to. I mean, obviously support your local businesses if you choose to, but if you're tight on budget, Food does not have to be something you spend a lot of money on. So try this recipe out, tag me in it, at Evidence Nutrition. If you like it, let me know. If you hate it, let me know. But try it out, and I hope you guys give this video a like, shoot it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Peace.